should say something about this new year, what this new year is about. What's it about for you? What's this year about for you? Thinking, I was thinking this. Um, do, you, do you have the perfect circumstances for this coming year in your life? <laughs> the perfect circumstances? My guess is none of us do. And yet here we are. And we could count all the ways it doesn't seem perfect to us. And yet here we are. And in the dark streets shineth the everlasting light. That's us. In the middle of the circumstances, exactly as they are, we're here. And that's what makes it perfect. And you could think of people of great honor throughout history. You could think of the founding fathers of this country. A lot of them lost their lives. They signed that, signed that Declaration of Independence, and they ended up lo losing their lives, and they knew they might. John Hancock, I think he was the first signature, and he wrote it big and bold. We even now talk about someone's John Hancock because he wrote it big and bold to show the courage. Perfect circumstance? No, but in those dark streets was the everlasting light coming through those people. Jesus, did he face perfect circumstances? Oh, my God. No, but he was the everlasting light in the face of those circumstances. And we could name so many people through history that are like that. And here we are, perfect circumstances. It, it is because I'm here. I'm here to take this and to take what's present <clears throat> in the circum circumstance that gives the opportunity for the everlasting light to find expression and create. I'm here to see what has come and use what has come to me in my life, just as is, as is true for all of us, and to use those things to allow for an expression of the everlasting light, and I would say, to the greatest degree possible. And we'll see how possible that is. And we'll see how possible it is in this coming year, 2024.